Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the empirical formula for a hydrate. And this is our question. We have the formula for magnesium sulfate is MgSO4 plus uh, XH2O, where X represents the number of moles of water for each one mole of magnesium sulfate. And it tells us in our problem here, we have 8.86 grams of the, mag of the hydrated compound, and we're gonna heat it, we're gonna drive off the water, and we drive off the water, what remains is 4.33 grams of just the magnesium sulfate or the, di or the dehydrated magnesium sulfate. And we want to know what is the value of X. We want to know this X here, which basically will tell us the ratio of the number of moles of magnesium sulfate to water. Okay? So in this problem, we're going to consider we have two parts. One part being the magnesium sulfate and the other part being the water and we're going to compare the ratio, the number of moles of each of those, and that will tell us the value for X. Okay, now we have the, the number of grams of the, the hydrated compound is 8.86, 8.86, and we have the number of grams of the dehydrated compound, but we also need, because we need to figure out the moles of water, we need to figure out how many grams of water, and the way we do that is pretty straightforward. We're just going to subtract the mass of the hydrated compound, 8.86 grams. We're going to subtract from that the dehydrated compound, what's left over, 4.33 grams. And when we subtract those two, that will tell us the mass of the water. And when we do that, we get 4.53 grams. 4.53 three grams. So now we know we have 4.53 grams of water. Okay. Now we can go through and we can figure out the moles and we can do our molar comparisons and figure out the ratio. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write down the elements or the compounds and the mass of each compound. So we have, we know that we have for magnesium sulfate, MgSO4, and this is just the magnesium sulfate. This is the dehydrated part. So this is 4.33 grams. And we know for water, we have water, we have 4 point, oops, 5.3 grams. Okay, so we know our compound. Um, those are the masses of each part of our compound, and we have to convert those into moles so we can compare the molar values and get the ratio of the number of moles of magnesium sulfate to the number of moles of water. So we have to convert these values into moles, and we do that using the molar mass of each of them. So we know we can look up or calculate that one mole of magnesium sulfate has a mass of just about 120.37 grams. And if we divide 4.33 by that, it tells us that we have 3.59 times 10 to the minus two moles of magnesium sulfate. We're gonna do the same thing for the water. We're gonna convert it into moles. We know for water, the molar mass of water, one mole has a mass of just about 18 grams. And we can cancel our units, it's grams, and of course, same thing up here, these grams canceled. And we know now that we have 2.52 times 10 to the minus one moles of water. All right, so that's the number of moles of magnesium sulfate and the number of moles of water. We want to know the ratio of those two, and the way we find the ratio is we divide the molar values by the smaller of the two molar values. So this is 10 to the minus 2, this is 10 to the minus 1, so we're going to divide each of our molar values by the smaller molar value, and the smaller molar value in this case is 3.59 times 10 to the minus 2. So 
10 to the minus 2 moles. The moles cancel, and of course this is 1. And we know we have 1 mole per 1 mole, so that works out. And then we're going to divide the number of moles of water also by the smaller smaller value, which is the 3.59 times 10 to the minus 2. And when we do that, once again the moles cancel, and this is 7. So this tells us that the ratio of moles of magnesium sulfate to water is 1 to 7, and this tells us that the value of x is 7, and this tells us that the chemical formula for the hydrated magnesium sulfate is simply Mg SO4, and then it's going to have 7 waters, or 7H2O. Okay, so that's the way we did that. I think those steps are pretty straightforward. That's the chemical formula for hydrated magnesium sulfate, MgSO4, 7H2O. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that was helpful.